I just said to this student, and it's not a hard question uh, you'd have thought to ask, I just said, well, name me one Islamist government state that you would want to live in. Send the troops, please. Send the troops in Saudi Arabia, not in Iraq and not in Iran. In Saudi Arabia, do it and promote them. Promote Saudi Arabia, not Iran. Why are you, why are you, why, why, why are you not asking the troops to go to Saudi Arabia? Because Ladies and gentlemen, it does not need you to want to assert your morals violently to say that that stinks and we will not be a part of it. We are scared of what is happening now that something is we are losing uh, and, uh, something of our identity. All these immigrants are in Europe. All they are all just threatening the identity of Europe. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you are feeling good. Today we'll be checking out a video by Douglas Murray titled We Are Superior. Muslim activist throws tantrum after Douglas Murray trigger. Wow. I believe this is going to be an interesting one. So let's check it out. Go. Different cultures lead to different standards of living. This is a simple fact of reality that Muslim activists find so offensive and deplorable. Today, we are going to watch as Douglas Murray tears down the faulty logic of the people that think it is racist to say that a culture like in the West is superior to those in the Middle East because it provides way better living conditions. Let's get into it. Douglas starts his speech by referring to one of his team members. Thank, thank, thank you very much indeed, um, Professor Ramadan. And now our final two speakers from the panel. First of all, uh, Douglas Murray. Thank you. Um, I assume some of that applause was for me as I got up. Um, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Ibn Warak has... Uh, pretty much uh, laid it out already. As far as I can see, he's said everything that uh, I would have wanted to say. Here, Douglas talks about how his teammate that spoke before him mentioned how the West dominates in basically every single possible metric you could measure the success of a society by. From advancements in healthcare, technology, human rights, economy, you are going to struggle to find a field the West doesn't pioneer. That is why Western values on which it's self-evident economic, social, political, scientific, and cultural success is based are clearly superior to any other devised by humankind. <laughs> However, when these values have been adopted by other societies, similar benefits have accrued to its citizens, as in Japan and South Korea. There is no shame in asserting superiority when all of this success can be dedicated to our values. Why should we be avoidant to say that only so we can pander to the emotions of other people? Anyway, then Douglas continues. A about Western values, what they are, he's defined them. There isn't, uh, I believe, much challenge uh, from the panel so far, or I suspect from the room, about uh, those values. Um, the only thing I can see that might hold up uh, some people in the audience from voting on the uh, right side uh, tonight, if I may, um, I is certain of the words in the motion. Um, uh, we say that we shouldn't be uh, reluctant uh, we should be to uh, uh, assert the superiority of our values. Um, this is what the debate is all about. While there's no doubt about the superiority of the West, the opposition's real problem is saying it's superior openly. It's seen as racist because it brings up memories of what the British did before colonialism and other atrocities around the world. Here's Douglas acknowledging that fact. Um, Superiority is, uh, I think, the troubling word uh, we've all got here, and a couple of my predecessors have already mentioned this. Um, you don't have to go very far in Britain or the West in general at the moment uh, to find people's uh, unwillingness to assert the superiority of their values. But they know the superiority of their values because they live with the superiority of their values. Um, I talk at a lot of campuses, and I was at one last night in London, uh, where a student got up and uh, started protesting because I had said that uh, an Islamist government was of itself a bad thing, which I think it is. Uh, I just said to this student, and it's not a hard question uh, you'd have thought to ask, I just said, well, name me one Islamist government state that you would want to live in. And this is a serious question, ladies and gentlemen. It is also a personal question, and one which, if people were honest, they would admit is personal. As a gay man, there's not a country that's run by Muslims which I could live in. 
One of my best friends is in hiding again tonight, Dayan Hasi Ali, because of what she says, and she'd be killed if she went to any Muslim country. And I think that matters. And I think the way in which it affects our personal lives does matter, and we should not ignore it. We have the great blessing of living under this system. And we take it for granted, and we spit on it, and we can because we're living in that freedom. What I would have asked Douglas's Protestant is if he sees the irony in the fact that he wouldn't even be allowed to protest like that in front of the government of the very states he's so eager to defend. But hey, if it's just about dignity, then I can respect that. But it's silly to believe that we should delude ourselves into thinking our values aren't better in the present just because of what happened in the past a long time ago. Now let's watch as one of Douglas Murray's opponents tries to take a shot at him in his ideas. What you mean when you say that you, your values, or your race, or your culture, is superior to all others, not just Islam, but to all others in the world. We know what that leads to. And a culture, if there is such a thing as a cohesive Western culture, which gave the 20th century two world wars, in which nearly 100 million people died, in which 6 million people were sent to death camps, in one in, by the Germans and many more by the Russians, a, a culture which can do that, um, really must be superior if it can point a finger at others and claim, it, claim its moral superiority. Okay, okay, now let's see what Douglas has to say about this. Mr. Glass uh, treated us to a uh, textbook example of Western masochism. And I know some people in the hall enjoy that because some people laughed and clapped when he cited Western civilization and epitomized it by what? World War, Nazism, Abu Ghraib, Guantanamo. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you believe that the West should be treated and regarded only as uh, something which is treated by its lowest moments, and believe that all other cultures and all other civilizations should be treated only by their highest moments, you're already putting in an unequal uh, challenge here. Douglas is so right here. The lowest moments in our culture are not representative of our culture. But the things that a culture adheres to on a daily basis are absolutely representative of that culture. The Arab world still believes that revelation is above reason, which is why human rights abuses are so prevalent within their culture. 99.5% of British Muslims believe that homosexuality is disgusting and should be forbidden, and many others believe that women should have limited rights. How could you even be avoidant to say that a culture like that is inferior when the truth is so obvious to everybody involved? Now let's watch Douglas point to what's actually representative of Islam and what is the behavior its government approves of. But in Iran, when, people, when a couple were shot the other week for holding hands when not being married, the courts congratulated them. Ladies and gentlemen, it does not need you to want to assert your morals violently to say that that stinks and we will not be a part of it. There you have it. And this is the harsh truth that we're dealing with here. Only in a country like Iran could a politician even dare to literally congratulate a terrorist for killing people that committed adultery. If any high-ranking official within the U.S. did anything that even slightly resembled this act, they would lose their job on the spot, and probably their whole lives would be ruined due to the bad reputation. Now let's watch as another opponent on the panel tries to take Douglas by the horns. When we are criminalizing them and something putting them in jail with no, no uh, reason else that they are leaving their country. So we go there to take the wealth and we don't want them there, uh, here. While we all know that in the coming generation we need 20 million workers. Which kind of contradictions are we accepting? So we can look at our own contradiction, and I would say exactly the same in the Islamic majority countries. Okay, I see. Now let's watch how this is going to go for our friend here after Douglas responds to him. Mr. Ramadan then went on, and I think this is an important thing to talk about, to immigrants. He did exactly the same thing that Mr. Glass did. He treated us as a society as if we were a society that just abuses immigrants, that imprisons them, locks them up. I don't know where he gets that from. I see immigrants all across our streets, many of, which, many of whom are doing very well. Most people in Britain have welcomed them. There hasn't been mass violence against these Im immigrants. By and large, they have been welcomed. How does that happen? How would the reverse happen in Saudi Arabia? How would that, the reverse of that happen in any Islamic culture? Why is it that every Jew in the Middle East has had to go to Israel? Why is it that we have made the de facto agreement that if there is to be a Palestinian state, it has to be Judenrein? 
clear of Jews because we treat them by a different standard, ladies and gentlemen, and we know it, and we will not do what we need to do, which is to say this is what works, this is what works for us, and this is, we believe, what could work for other people. And this is the funny thing about Muslim activists. Whenever they are trying to make a point condemning something about the West, all you have to do is to ask how that thing is going in the Middle East, and you will find out that it's ten times worse every time, without a miss. Hmm. I wonder if that is a culture thing or if it's still inappropriate to assert our superiority after that. And one of the best things about our values is that we have the ability to criticize ourselves. Which led us to the point where we are one of the most peaceful civilizations there ever was. Here's Douglas's teammate acknowledging that fact. One of the great, as I said, one of the great features, one of the great redemptive features of Western civilization is self-criticism. West has re reflected on its crimes, has learned from them, and is stronger than ever because of it. And in today's world, we've become so peaceful that it would be irrational to assume that colonialism and Nazism is going to repeat itself again if we just simply acknowledge the prosperity that comes from our values put into application in comparison to the evidently inferior values of the Middle East. We are not forcing anybody to adopt any values. We are just pointing out the truth. You either accept that or you don't. Either way it goes, it seems like the opposition is concerned that asserting superiority is directly linked with atrocities like Nazism and colonialism, which is just not true. The truth may be hard to accept, but the truth will set you free. Okay. Now let's watch one last point coming from the opposition. The superiority of our values and to assert them. I think that from the very beginning to put the thing like this, it's to stop the dialogue and to stop the dialogue with all the other world. It's not understandable. It's not uh, acceptable, in fact, even to speak like this. But even the arrogant dimension of such a statement is in fact coming from very deep. It's exactly the opposite. It's because we are scared that we come with such a statement. We are scared of what is happening now that something is we are losing uh, an, uh, something of our identity. All these immigrants are in Europe. All okay, so he's trying to say that the reason we would tell the world that we are superior is just to cover up our own insecurities of fear. But would that still stand even if we measured it and we actually were superior? I don't know. Let's watch Douglas answer him one last time. Well, Mr. Ramadan said that we need dialogue. I agree. Everyone agrees we need dialogue. But where does it start? Would it start, for instance, with making a joke? Contra Mr. Khomeini, not a very funny man. Or would it start with an article, perhaps? Would it start, perhaps, with a film? It did, a few years ago, with submission, and Theo van Gogh was killed. Could it start with making a joke, perhaps? A joke in a cartoon? Well, apparently not, because we know that uh, there were burnings and killings and lootings and riotings across the globe in reaction to those cartoons. If you're going to start a dialogue, what could you do that would be smaller than drawing a cartoon? If anyone has an idea, they, I, please let me know. But this dialogue, which we keep on being offered, is not reciprocated. And we can have the dialogue here in the West tonight. But how many of the countries that will be talked about by the other side could we have the same dialogue in? We get to discuss our failings because we are in the West. We get to analyze our failures because we are here. And I think that matters. Very valid points. And this should put an end to the discussion. Pun intended. All the people that are criticizing us for pointing out the obvious when we say that the West has superior values are allowed to do that exactly because those values are superior. Something you couldn't always do in Islamic countries. This is all I had for today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Wow. What's an interesting video titled We Are Superior. Muslim activist throws tantrum after Douglas Murray three guts wow what an interesting video we can all tell douglas is someone that is very articulated very intelligent always say the truth always stand by the truth is not afraid of it's not afraid to say the truth which is what we have seen uh, in this video if just by the statement that was made uh in this video that the western culture is more superior as compared to 
any other culture in the world. I think to some extent, I relate with Douglas. And I also believe that every country has its own identity. And we can all tell that uh, the, the, the Britain identity, British identity, is rooted uh, in their culture, is rooted in their tradition, is rooted in their values. And I believe, based on the fact Douglas have stated in this video, uh, the Western culture is a little bit, is, is more superior as compared to any other culture in the world. We can, we can see that they promote our freedom of speech, freedom of expression. You are allowed to practice whatever religion you want to practice. And you are, are also allowed to voice out your opinion, voice out your grievance when you are not okay with something and you are also allowed to practice your own culture without any interruption we all understand that the british people prom also promote multiculturalism where anyone can come into the country and practice their own culture which i believe is something that is very rich so based on the facts based on the fact and the point douglas have stated in this video i think i i totally agree with him that the, the Western culture is a little, is more rich as compared to any other culture in the world. And we can tell when this video was, I, I, I don't really know the date when this video was released, but if you check from the point Douglas have stated, if you check right now, a lot of countries in the world have start adopting, uh, the British culture, the British values in order to, you know, you, you you can check right now a lot of countries are practicing uh the brit uh practicing the what is in the british culture what is in the british values in order to also make their country uh culture their country a better place for the citizen so i've really learned a lot just by listening to douglas anytime i listen to douglas i get to learn one or two so it's always very interesting listening to douglas so I also love to hear your comments. What do you think about what Douglas have said in this video that the British culture is richer than any other culture in the world? Keep the comments coming. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. Do have a nice day.